Recovery Drive lets you recover your Windows 10 PC in case anything goes wrong. In this video, you will learn how to create a recovery drive and how to use it to recover your PC if it is not starting. Before we start this detailed guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. Things you will need. You will need at least 16 gigabytes of USB flash drive to create a recovery drive. Know that this process will erase all the data on the USB drive, so it is better to use an empty drive. How to create a recovery drive in Windows 10. To create a recovery drive, insert the USB flash drive in the slot. Now click on the start menu and type recovery drive. Click on it to open it. If you see a prompt, click yes. Now here you will see an option, backup system files to the recovery drive. If you untick this option, you will create a recovery drive that will just help you in troubleshooting your PC. It lets you reset your PC and access advanced troubleshooting options. However, you won't be able to reinstall Windows 10. Since it won't include system files, the recovery drive will occupy less space on the drive. We recommend that you don't untick this option. It will take a little more time and extra space on the drive, but you will be able to reinstall Windows 10. Click Next. After some time, it will display the available USB drives. To avoid confusion, you should remove all other USB drives from the PC. Select the drive and click Next. Now it will show the warning that this process will erase all the data on the drive, so make sure you take a backup. Click on Create. Now here you will have to wait for a long time. On my PC it took around 2 hours. It can be different on your PC. You can keep working while it does its job. Click on Finish and safely remove the USB flash drive. Make sure to label it with the recovery drive and place it in a safe place. How to use the recovery drive to recover Windows 10 Whenever your Windows 10 PC stops working in the future, you can use the recovery drive to fix it. Plug in the recovery drive in the USB port and restart your PC. You will see the blue screen with the select keyboard layout options. You see this option from the recovery drive. If you can't see it, you need to set up the boot options to boot from USB. To do that, restart your PC and press the escape key to open the boot menu. This key might be different for your PC. You can search on the internet to know it. Now place the USB drive to the first in the boot order, then save and exit. You will reach the recovery options. Select the keyboard layout, then go to Troubleshoot. Here you will see Recover from a Drive. This option will reinstall Windows 10 with the recovery drive. However, it will remove your files and the installed applications, so this should be your last resort. Go to Advanced Options. Here you will see some options to recover Windows 10. You can also access the command prompt for some advanced troubleshooting. If none of these works, then use the Recover from a Drive option to install a fresh Windows 10. The recovery drive only recovers the Windows 10 OS. It won't restore your personal files and applications, so it would be best if you also took regular backups on an external hard drive along with a recovery USB flash drive. That's it for this video. If you have any questions and suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your likes and comments motivate us to create such videos. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 tips and tricks.